All right, everybody, good morning. We are on day two of legal tampering, and we have a little bit of Seahawks news. Well, actually kind of a lot of news, but it doesn't amount to a whole lot, but it's nevertheless worth covering because all of your roster matters, right? Like all the way from the, the top guy to the 53rd man to the practice squad to the guys who are in and out of your roster as the season goes on, it all matters. So we tendered some of our restricted and exclusive rights uh, free agents this morning. And um, we don't have to keep all these guys. You can withdraw the tender at any time. But we have tendered, to my knowledge, seven players on either a restricted tender or an exclusive rights tender. So basically what this means is... As of right now, those players are locked into one-year deals with the Seahawks. We can withdraw those deals later and they become free agents. And other teams can make an offer at the restricted free agent. The, we have one restricted free agent at the moment, but they have to top our offer in order to pull that player away. So, to my knowledge... The Seahawks have tendered defensive tackle Brian Monet at the uh, right of first refusal tender, which is $2.13 million. That's not a completely trivial amount of money, but for a guy like Monet, who did put in a decent number of snaps for you last year and he played okay, $2.13 million, especially in this new defense where you really might see Monet play defensive tackle, or nose tackle rather, I, I, it'll probably be worth it, especially in the new cap where 2.13 million is less than 1%. That's pretty good. So we tendered Brian Monet at 2.13 million and we can, as far as I know, withdraw that tag at any time and there's no guaranteed money. And we have also placed exclusive rights, uh, tenders on Penny Hart at about 900 K and Ryan Neal at about 900k. Those are both fine. Ryan Neal is definitely a steal at 900k because of all the versatility he offers. Uh, Penny Hart without Wilson here, I don't really know if he has much value at all, but the the team seems to like him, and 900k, you can't go that wrong. We tendered Tanner Muse at 825k, which I really like. I still think Tanner Muse has some potential in the NFL, uh, and then we tender John Radigan, Nigel Warrior, and Dakota Shepley at 825K, 705K, and 705K. Those guys, who knows? So that's filling out the bottom end of our roster. It's filling out potential practice squad guys. A lot of those guys will not make the 53-man roster, at least to start the season. But I think getting Monet back is pretty good. Ryan Neal is somebody who's probably going to make the 53-man. And I... I'll say this, I'm still kind of into the Tanner Muse thing. I, I haven't given up on that dude yet. Dude was very highly drafted, didn't get a real shot in Las Vegas, and last year he couldn't really get on the field for us seriously, but I'm not ruling that guy out. Especially now that Bobby's gone, we need to think about what we're doing at linebacker. So um, that's seven players who are likely to be with the Seahawks at least during the rest of the offseason. And uh, that's how we start off our day. So I'll see you guys later. Go Hawks. And um, there you go. Seven players have been tendered at low amounts for the Seahawks.